All right, guys. Been long enough. Let's do some work on this trailer. Cut some stuff off of it. Cut it in half, whatnot. First thing we're going to do is take some measurements. Stick around, join me. I can maybe use a hand or two. So, okay guys, here's the trailer. Um, like, this centerpiece, these two gray bars, that gray bar there and that gray bar there, that's one piece. It apparently was some kind of uh, exercise equipment. Oops, there you go. Judging from that, uh, these things are not, these things are not that solid here. Okay, so what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these down. And I'll use them. I, I do believe that's what I'm going to do because these things are not that that sturdy. Um, that's probably what I'll what I'll end up doing is I'll just cut them down and make that a floor. After I cut this down, of course, I'm going to you know narrow this uh, one foot. I get, let's get some measurements. Let me take some measurements and let's see. Let's see if we're at five feet. That way I know how much I'm going to have to cut down and mark. So that's why I'm going to leave the sides on just just for right now so I can get a, a square, you know, a perfectly. Because these, these edges back here are rounded on this. So you can't get, you know, for my mark. But up here I can take my, you know, I can get a better measurement from my marks on that and mark it actually that's yeah that ends uh, rounded right so that way I can get a better I don't know you know when you get something like this you don't know see like here see this is even this is even with that over here it's not so I'll be off on my marks so I won't be able to do it that way what I'll have to do oh, let's get these stupid rails off here first Okay, we got the rails off. Now, I still don't know how we get to the center of this thing. It's bolted on here, which I'll be welding it. So I'll cut that bolt off. Um. Cause I'm gonna mark the center. I have to cut it. I have to cut it twice. Like if I if I take off a foot, I, I gotta find my center. I gotta mark over six six inches, make a mark. Come over six inches, and make a mark, and do that on this front one here and that back one there. 
and then I'll cut it and I'll bring these two together um, I'll have to do the same thing for the axles um, or what what he's calling an axle so I'm gonna have to take these bolts out either way any anyhow I'm gonna I'm gonna grind these off these welds and try to get these these side pieces off of here it's not front. so that'll be the first thing let's go ahead and grind them off and get these side pretty much the deck off of it and then we'll go from there see this tongue see there's nothing square about this trailer it's just eyeballed and it's not eyeballed very well because if you see this tongue it's like over this way and I can see back there in the back it's got a bend to it so that's all you know I'm gonna have to do something about that uh, like I said it's not gonna ever be behind the vehicle but uh, you know I still want it done halfway right um, we're gonna build something out of it like I said I may use these for like the floorboards inside cut them down or whatever and just lay them down uh, that's a good possibility of what I might do and you know put some treated lumber in there I'm not sure yet about that we'll, we'll just have to see uh, but these things like I said they whoa, they are so flimsy um, they're not made for for this kind of stuff so eventually shit's going to start bending and breaking at any you know at a give point so let's go ahead and get these cut off looks like a car dolly in a way don't it so this is what I don't like see how this is rounded here and these are square um, I really don't like that but they've got the axle axle <laughs> welded onto here but I thought about cutting this down but uh, I don't have anything to put across here um, you know square tubing or rectangle tubing so I'm probably gonna have to leave it like this I still gotta cut it down to make it make it thinner but uh, I, I don't know um let's see here see i can measure from the inside or outside whatever probably i would go from the inside of here to the inside of that on the other side uh but then i got to transfer from here i got to transfer my marks over here i don't even know if this measurement's right here if the tires are right I mean they look close but that don't that don't mean anything um, like I said it's never gonna be behind an automobile but um, it just when you do stuff you just can't throw shit together like this um, because you're going to end up with what it looks like and it looks like a piece of junk um, 
All right, let me take some measurements. Okay, guys, I've done some measuring from the outside of that to the outside of this. Now, that axle is uh, pretty much centered. It might be off a sixteenth. I'm not worried about that. This is centered right in here. So, I took my mark from that, but this thing from the outside of that side to the outside of this side, five foot four inches. These are one inch wide. Okay, so inside to inside, five foot two inches. So I'm going to take off an exactly one foot, which you can see here. Here's the center, okay, of my of the uh, tongue. So I'm going over six inches there, six inches there. Same way with there. That mark there. That mark there. Same with this, this mark, and this mark, okay? So, I think what I'm going to do, I know these are right. Try to, try to come across here and make sure this is square. But anyway, I don't have a big T-square. I wish I did. But, it's going to be close. Um, so, I'm going to cut this off back here first, okay? I'm going to cut that center the center piece out first and then I think I'm going to go ahead and cut that off that one off and then you know I've got to uh, I got to take these bolts out um, I may just cut all the way down through that and through that That'll still give me room to put bolts back in if I want, but I'm not sure. Um, they're still going to have to come out, but let's go ahead and let's get to cutting on this thing. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking. It's not going to be square. I know it's not. It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be close enough to pull behind a garden tractor.
Okay guys, I don't know if you've seen it when it was sped up, but I stepped on this end to try to raise it up a little bit. Right there. Look. I mean, you can't build a trailer like that. You know, you just... I mean, look at that. One bolt. Well, I got two up top, but that one bolt. You know? A couple tack welds. You can't... You can't do shit like that, guys. Alright. Put you on the charger for a little bit. Let me get some of this cleaned up and I'll get uh, I'll get my game plan together. Okay guys, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tack this on this this corner and this corner, then I'll flip it up and I'll grind grind it around, then I'll go ahead and weld that around there. I've got some steel in here. I am gonna re reinforce this uh, this axle here, same way with the with the other pieces there. So Let's go ahead and give it a tack. I left the gap there because I want some penetration down in there. So. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I've got to grind it off and clean it. I'll be back with you. I'll show you what I ended up with. Okay guys, this is what we're working on. That's my reinforcement there. As you can see, that's pretty decent welds on here. But when I got down to here, it started acting funny on me. Skipping. I'm going to have to grind that off. I don't have to take the whole thing off, just grind it off smooth. And re-weld it because I'm out of welding wire. So, all out. So I gotta get some more welding wire before I can finish this. So anyway, that's where we're at. Uh, that piece there, I think I may use for the tongue. I'm not sure. I may need to use a piece of this, but you can see how bent that was. I mean, that's not holding nothing. That's I mean, what? And a trailer this big was probably meant to pull something down the road. My God, that's scary. That's a scary thought. All right, so stay tuned for part two of the trailer build. My buddy, he's out here. He, he has a, ain't you, buddy? He has a good time, don't you, Bruno? Bruno. Yeah, he, uh, he's helping me. So, uh, these pieces, I got to finish welding these. Uh, this one's done. I mean, pretty good welds, and then it started messing up on me there. I figured it, well, I was getting close to running out of wire. This here turned out pretty good. Now, I may not have to reinforce these. Um, you know, most, most of the weight's always out here on the end of your axles. And I'm not going to weight it down with a whole bunch of stuff. It's actually wider than what I wanted it to be, but it, it'll be fine. Uh, you know, I'm just gonna be hauling stuff around the house, maybe take some stuff down down to sell. I got that inside cleaned off pretty well. So anyway, guys, that's what we're looking at so far. Now I get the fun task of getting all this stuff out here, get it around back or something. I don't want the shit laying out here. I'm not sure what time Monkey's going to be back, so I want to make sure she's got room in the driveway, so this I can wield around. Like when that whole thing was together, man, this thing was light. I wheeled it around here without any issues, really. Uh, but that'll give me some more time to do some planning. I got this galvanized here. Uh, yeah, she can well galvanize. You just got just to gotta grind it off real well. Um, and you can weld it with no issues. Uh, heard a lot of people say, "Well, you should wear a mask when you." Well, you know what? If you grind it, grind it all off of there, you should be okay. Uh, if you're going to be welding every day, of course. 
but so these things here I don't know what I'm gonna I don't know if they're strong enough to do anything with I mean that'd be a lot of welding you know to patch them holes up if I welded them holes closed yeah it'd be strong as shit but that takes some a lot of wire so I gotta get some more welding wire and then we'll we'll get back on this so I wanna see if Bruno will help me carry this stuff around back alright guys so there's kind of, well, the first episode was actually us getting the trailer. It's hard to measure if that's square or not, being that this one side's rounded like it is. But it's, from what the measurements I took, and I, uh, like on the axle and stuff, it seems to be, everything went back together. Uh, like when I slid it back together, pretty much kind of like where I, where I made the cuts, everything butted up nice I mean you know, my cuts weren't that straight but they did butt up nice and everything seemed to be fine so I did do some measuring from the center and then on the right side and on the left side before you get to the turn and it seemed to be it seemed to be okay see that Bruno see that Bruno that's the dog dog pound you better be good so it seemed it seemed to be right on the money there so I'm pretty good good there uh, you know, I'd like to have a full frame. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. But like I said, it's not going to be hauling, you know, a thousand pounds. Uh, most I'll put on it, so, you know, six or seven hundred. So, <laughs> so anyway, guys, I'm trying to get you. This is a gloomy day, so I'm going to get this all cleaned up, and uh, when I get some more welding wire, I'll turn you back on, and you know. We'll commence to commencing. So, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000's channel. And uh, remember, give this a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notified of more stuff like this. And y'all enjoy the rest of your week. Tomorrow's Friday, and the weekend's here. So, y'all be cool. Shea Bear, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye. Take care.